Hey, Charles. Oh, hi, Michael. It's funny running into you here. It is. It's always funny running into you over the interwebs. So today I have the pleasure of telling you about computational learning theory. Mm, it's my favorite kind of theory. <laughs> well, sure. Now, how do you like theory in general? Um, I am happy that there are people that do theory. There we go. All right. And now you're about to be one of those people, at least for the next you know, hour. No, no, I'm not doing theory. You're doing theory. I'm listening to you do theory. No, I'm coaching you through it. Don't you understand? It's about, it's about the learning process, learning about learning. Fine. So uh, let's start off with a quiz. No, wait. So let me, uh, let me at least set the stage as to why, what, you know, what it is that we're talking about today and how it's different from what we've talked about in the previous days. So mostly what we've been talking about up to this point is algorithms for doing learning. Right, we talked about what, what learning, the machine learning field was like, and we talked about a number of specific algorithms for building classifiers and building regression. And there's a problem with that. Specifically, I have this, uh, this feeling that it's very, very necessary to always make sure you know what problem you're solving before you start proposing algorithms for solving it. And we haven't really nailed down what exactly that problem is. Hmm. And that makes things hard. It makes it hard to know, for example, whether or not one algorithm is better than another. Um, one algorithm is better than another if it works better. If it works better. Yeah, well, you know, that's not wrong. But I think it's sort of not a very helpful definition for designing better algorithms. Okay. So, uh, so what we're going to talk about is computational learning theory. And I want to say that it's, it's not about sp particular algorithms. It's, it's about some other stuff. But uh, I thought it would be helpful if we started off by saying, well, what is it that we talked about so far? So one of the things we talked about so far is algorithms for, doing, for learning classifiers. So uh, I wanted to draw a picture of that, and then I realized maybe that would actually be kind of a useful quiz. So if you can imagine that each of these three boxes is the output of a classifier in a two-dimensional space. So it's a two-dimensional input space. We've ran a learner, and when it spits out a classifier, this is how it classifies the, uh, the, the regions of the space. So I, I used blue lines to separate the square into regions, the two-dimensional space into regions, and then I labeled each region with a minus or a plus so you could tell what the classifier was actually doing. Okay. So I'm wondering if you could fill in underneath each one what learning algorithm was probably used to, to, to find this classifier. Uh, maybe. You want to give it a shot? It's not, it's not that important to this lecture, but I thought it might be helpful in just kind of setting the stage. Okay. I'll give it a try. 